in. Simba wants to invite you to a gathering. It's a celebration for all of us. How sweet of him. What can I do to help? Just be yourself. It'll be perfect. You're very kind. Tell Simba all we do with bells on. No, oh, or I guess I should say bows. Hiyuni Inky Sora, what brings you here? Simba is throwing a gathering to bring the, va the village together. He wants you to join us. Hmm, because you're the coolest. Gorge, that sure is nice of him. It sounds like a great idea. We should all get together for celebrations more, if you ask me. Inky Sora. Need anything rescued or fought today? Simba wants to have a gathering. He's wondering if you could come along and fight stress. Stress? Never heard of that monster before. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I get it. Sounds like a great time. I'll be there. You're the real deal, kid. Thanks, Inky Sora. Well, we have the food and the guests. So I think we're ready. I tried to figure out where to have the gathering. But hey, it's your valley. Here, you decide. See ya. Sora, that gathering was great. Everyone really got into the Hakuna Matata spirit. Now, uh, since she wasn't at the party, I think we should go talk to Nala and see how she's doing. She must want to tell you you were right. Nah, it isn't about right and wrong. I think both our ideas could help the valley. I hope she thinks so too. Don't worry, I'll come with you. Good morning. Oh, I feel so bad. I completely forgot I was supposed to help Nala today. I gotta make it up to her. She said that odd thing about me having a special role here. Yeah, it sounded like her memory started to come back when she was scouting for food. Maybe yours will too. And it seems really important to Nala. It is. She wants to make sure all the animals in the valley have food. 
Maybe not like the right idea. Something isn't right, right so far as how the circle of life should be working. Sounds like she was right. Yeah. If everyone doesn't understand the circle of life, bad things can happen. Nala is worried that the rabbits don't have enough to eat. Goofy says they like carrots. So how about we plant the world with carrots, just to be sure? Let's take it a little further. I'll feed some of the animals around the village, too. Good idea. But some of the creatures around here seem pretty hard for you to approach. I got to know most of them. Do you want some help? Yes, please. Great. Which creatures do you want to know about? The baby turtles and the ravens. It's funny, you think turtles and ravens they wouldn't have anything in common, but they do. They're both shy, so it'll take it that time for them to get used to you. Just stand near them calmly. That way, they'll know there's nothing to fear and they'll relax. Great. Which creatures do you want to know about? Hmm. The raccoons and crocodiles. Oh, they're the most wary creatures in the valley. You need to be pretty careful when you approach them. When you see them wa watching their surroundings, stop moving. Only move again when you see they're relaxed. But stop, it's easy to see them about staying on guard again. Hm. I'm good, let's go feed some critters. Okay. And hey, don't hesitate to ask me again if you change your mind. Hm. I just wanted to let you know that Simba felt really bad about what happened. We went and scouted for some food around the village. Thank you for letting me know. I was worried when he, for, when he just forgot like that. He's trying his best. I know he is, and it's not easy being a leader. There's so much for Simba to think about. I'm glad you could help him, and I'm hoping we can figure out the role we used to play in the valley. Thank you, Inky Sora, for everything. Thank you. Hi. Thanks for helping me out, Inky, Inky Zora. And I'm starting to remember some stuff. I think we're headed in the right direction. Before the forgetting, there used to be something in this valley that I watched over. Not what was right. Something is missing around here. I just wish I remembered what it was. Guess I need some time to think about it. Thanks again, Inky Zora. I'll tell you if I remember. That's great! So, I found what you were talking about. It's a statue. The weird thing is that the second I picked it up, I saw something shining in the water. It looks like some kind of mystical rift. Here, I took a picture of it to give you a closer look. That's so strange. Every time I look towards Sassel Beach, my, my whiskers start twitching. Ugh, and that smell. 
I know my nose is more sensitive than yours, but it's worse than a whole pack of hyenas. The statue, the rift, the smell, they must be connected somehow. Hmm. I know we can fix this. Maybe we, maybe if we just bury the statue again. I don't think that's going to help. The smell isn't just coming from Dazzle Beach anymore. See, now I smell it coming from other places in the valley. Uh-oh. Where? The Frosted Heights and the Glade of Trust. If I had been looking those wretches, my whiskers are twitching. I'll go investigate the Frosted Heights and the Glade of Trust to see if there isn't it to see if any more mystical rifts have opened up. Maybe there are more of these statues lying around. Please hurry, the smell is getting worse. I'll patrol and make sure nothing dangerous that comes through that rift. It's so good goodbye. to see you. More lioness statues? Did you find these in the Frosted Heights and the Glade? That's right. They were all buried in the ground, just like the first one. But that's not all. More of these weird rifts have opened up in other parts of the village. Oh no. Do you think whatever's happening... ...is my fault? I was the one that damaged that first statue? Hmm. Of course not. You didn't notice what happened. Oh. I suppose you're right. Let's start with these rifts. Did anything dangerous come out of the one on Dazzle Beach while you were watching? I didn't see anything come out of it, but something did happen. Goofy came by the fish. He cast out his rod near the rift to snag something. <laughs> then he shouted and ran off. Oh boy. Sounds like I better go talk to Goofy to find out what he saw. 